morning, everyone. And welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we gather together to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith, the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. We begin this Mass in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind our faults, failings, and sins, and ask God for his most gracious and abundant mercy. Jesus, you are the way, the Lord have mercy. Jesus, you are the truth, Christ have mercy. Jesus, you are the life, the Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, Return, O Israel, to the Lord your God. You have collapsed through your guilt. Take with you words and return to the Lord. Say to him, Forgive all iniquity and <coughs> Forgive all iniquity and receive what is good, that we may render as offerings the bullocks from our stalls. Assyria will not save us, nor shall we have horses to mount. We shall say no more, our God, to the work of our hands, for in you the orphan finds compassion. I will heal their the defection, says the Lord. I will love them freely, for my wrath is turned away from them. I will be like the dew in Israel. He shall blossom like the lily. He shall strike root like the Lebanon cedar, and put forth his shoots. His splendor shall be like an olive tree, and his fragrance like the Lebanon cedar. Again, they shall dwell in his shade and raise grain. They shall blossom like the vine, and his fame shall be like that of the wine of Lebanon. Ephraim, what more has he to do with idols? I have humbled him, but I will prosper him. I am like a verdant cypress tree, because of me you bear fruit. Let him who is wise understand these things. Let him who is prudent know them. Straight are the paths of the Lord, in them the just walk, but sinners stumble in them. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. My mouth will declare your praise. Have mercy on me, O God, in your compassion. And great is your compassion. In the greatness of your compassion, wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin, cleanse me. Behold, you are pleased with sincerity of heart, and in my inmost being, you teach me wisdom. Cleanse me of sin with the hyssop, that I may be purified. Wash me, and I will be whiter than snow. My mouth will declare your praise. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out of your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. My mouth will declare your praise. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. My mouth, I will declare your praise.
Alleluia, alleluia. When the spirit of truth comes, he will guide you to all truth and remind you of all that I told you. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves. So be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But be aware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be held uh, and led to before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about what you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say. For it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. And you will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. And when they persecute you in one town, flee to another. The men I say to you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> First reading today from Hosea, the prophet, is interesting. Not so much the words that are spoken but the person of Hosea himself. God had, was very uh, um, disappointed in his people when they had turned their backs on him. They became unfaithful. This in the time when the Assyrians came in and took them back, took the people back to Assyria. And they were there for a while. And God had been sending prophets there to remind them that they are his people, that they will return. They will come back to me, God says, in a time when their visitation will be ended. But be faithful. Don't turn your backs on me again. Don't be unfaithful. And Jesus, or not Jesus, but Yahweh, uses the prophet Hosea because of his own personal circumstance. He likens his relationship uh, with Israel as Hosea had his relationship with his wife. As they say, Hosea was lucky in life but unlucky in love. He had married a woman who was what some Italians call a putanza, uh, speaking at the pulpit. It's inappropriate for me to, to translate that word, but basically it's uh, a lady of the streets or a lady of the night. And she would leave him and go off and have affairs with other people. When they were done with her, they would throw her out into the gutter, bruised and worn and half dead. Hosea would come looking for her, and he would find her, pick her up, bring her back to his home, clean her up, put fresh clothes on, wash her up, give her food for sustenance, and hold her close to his bosom, his heart, and she would remain there, and she would remain his wife for a while. Then the urge would come again, and away she goes, out into the streets again. Same routine, you know, having affairs, whatever, and then um, Hosea coming out, looking for her, and, this, and he, he finds her, brings her back home again, and so on. This happened many times, and God likens his relationship with Israel like a marriage relationship 
because Israel was constantly unfaithful to Yahweh. Faithful for a time, unfaithful for a good number. Uh, faithful again, unfaithful. Faithful, unfaithful. Just like uh, Hosea in his marriage situation. So that's why God sent Hosea. Because Hosea knew the pain of the loss of his loved one. And God knows the pain of the loss of his loved ones, the Israelites, who had been unfaithful to him. But again, uh, through Hosea, God is inviting the people to remain faithful. You're going to come back to me. Come back to me, and I will be your God. I will be your, uh, your eternal husband. I will take care of you. I will clothe you in good clothes. I will feed you with the best of foods. I will take care of you. I will nourish you and protect you. Some of the Israelites did believe that. Some of them didn't because they intermarried with the pagans and they sometimes, they, even in their uh, Jewish background, they, turned, they twisted their Jewish ceremonies and and doctrines and so on um, to, to be satisfactory to the, the pagan style of life and so on and so forth. Um, there's a real problem. But God was always faithful to his people. And there's a beautiful hymn that we sing at, at Mass sometimes, and it's called Hosea. Come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees are tall, but they do bend to another's call. Come back to me. Come back to me. Long have I waited for your coming back to me and living deeply our new life. That's Yahweh speaking to his people. That's Hosea speaking to his wife. And that's Jesus speaking to you and me today. When we turn our backs on him, when we prefer to go other routes other than the holiness of roads that God has planned for us, and we get ourselves enmeshed in sin. But God always remains faithful to his people. Isaiah, Hosea remains faithful to his wife. Jesus remains faithful to you and me. And he keeps calling us back. Come back to me. Don't let fear keep us apart. May I invite you to stand now and together let us offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord as we know he hears and answers all of our prayers. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church, as it goes forth to announce God's kingdom among the nations and for improved health for Pope Francis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our fragile world, always in need of saving message from God's love and mercy. And for those affected by storms, earthquakes, and violence throughout the world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the containment and eradication of the COVID-19 virus, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of those who asked us to pray for them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Timmy McGough, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be at peace with God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may hear the call of God to come back to his loving heart as we live our Christian lives, we pray to the Lord. Our prayer. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother and ask her now to intercede 
for on our behalf for the many uh, needs that we all have. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and in the hour of our death. By the mystery of this water and wine, when we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given in human hands, and made it will become for us the bread of life. Bless you, Lord God of all creation, for goodness we have this wine to offer, Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. For God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humbled and contrite hearts. And Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Let us stand and in our faithfulness. Pray that your sacrifice and mine this morning will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, to the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all his holy church. And may this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For although you have no need of our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praise adds nothing to your greatness, but profits us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with all the choirs of angels, we praise you with joy as we all proclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. For I need holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, be holy, therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, we have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her devoted husband, the prophet Hosea, and all of the apostles, martyrs, and saints have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let fear not keep us apart, and so we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin, and protect us from all distress and infidelity, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. And grant grants her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us joyfully share that peace with one another. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, who is always faithful to us, his people. He is the Lamb who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are we this morning, who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to come under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will refresh you, says the Lord. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thank you all. Have a great day and a great weekend.